a rock sample collected by NASA's Perseverance rover from an ancient dried riverbed in Jezero Crater may hold traces of long-lost microbial life. The material, extracted last year from a rock dubbed Chayava Falls, has been named Sapphire Canyon and is now under close examination after researchers identified possible biosignatures. The findings were published Wednesday in the journal Nature. A potential biosignature refers to a substance or pattern that could have been formed by biological activity, though further research and additional data are necessary before scientists can confirm or reject a link to life. This discovery by Perseverance, launched during President Trump's first term, represents the closest we've come to detecting life on Mars. Identifying a potential biosignature on the Red Planet marks a landmark step forward in our exploration and deepens our understanding of Mars, stated acting NASA Administrator Sean Duffy. NASA remains committed to pursuing gold standard science as we continue working toward the day American astronauts walk across the planet's rocky surface. Perseverance encountered Chiava Falls in July 2024 while investigating the Bright Angel Outcrop, a formation of rocky ridges at the edges of Neredva Vallis, a quarter-mile wide, 400-meter, channel carved long ago by rushing water feeding into Jezero Crater. This result is a direct outcome of NASA's long-term strategy to plan, develop, and execute a mission designed to detect exactly this type of evidence, a possible biosignature on Mars, explained Nikki Fox, Associate Administrator of NASA's Science Mission Directorate. With these peer-reviewed findings now published, the data are available for the broader science community to evaluate, verify, or challenge their biological significance. The rover's analysis revealed that the sediments making up Bright Angel's rocks consist mainly of clay and silt. On Earth, these materials are particularly effective at preserving traces of microbial life. The samples also contain organic carbon, sulfur, phosphorus, and oxidized iron, or rust. The blend of compounds within Bright Angel could have provided energy sources for microbial metabolism, said Joel Horowitz, perseverance scientist at Stony Brook University, New York, and lead author of the study. But observing intriguing chemical signals alone didn't prove the existence of a biosignature. We had to carefully interpret what those signals truly meant. Initial investigations were carried out with Perseverance's PIXL, Planetary Instrument for X-ray Lithochemistry, and Sherlock, scanning habitable environments with Raymond and luminescence for organics and chemicals. While examining Chiava Falls, an arrowhead-shaped rock measuring 3.2 feet by 2 feet, 1 meter by 0.6 meters, the tools detected unusual colorful markings. These patches may have been left by microbes if they had exploited the carbon, sulfur, and phosphorus in the rock as energy sources. High-resolution scans revealed a distinctive arrangement of minerals forming what the team described as leopard spots along reaction fronts, boundaries where chemical processes occur. The markings contained two iron-rich minerals, viviniate, hydrated iron phosphate, and gregite, iron sulfide. On Earth, viviniate often develops in wetlands, sediments, and near decomposing organic matter. Likewise, certain microorganisms are known to generate gregite. The pairing of these minerals point to electron transfer reactions between sediments and organic matter, processes that microbial life could use for energy. Still, these same minerals can also form without biology, through heat, acidic environments, or organic binding. Notably, Bright Angel rocks lack signs of extreme heat or acidity, and it remains uncertain whether the organic material present could trigger such reactions at lower temperatures. The discovery was unexpected because it comes from some of the youngest sedimentary rocks analyzed during the mission. Earlier theories suggested that any traces of life would likely be confined to much older formations. This indicates that Mars might have supported habitable conditions more recently or for longer stretches of time than once assumed, and that even ancient rocks could hide subtle signs of life. A discovery, a potential biosignature in peer-reviewed journals, is a vital milestone, ensuring the results are held to the highest scientific standards.
And while the non-biological explanations appear less consistent with the data, we cannot dismiss them entirely. To evaluate such claims, scientists apply tools like the cold scale and standards of evidence, which gauge how much confidence should be placed in data that might represent a signal of life beyond Earth. Sapphire Canyon is now one of 27 cores Perseverance has drilled since its landing in February 2021. Alongside its rock collection, the rover also carries a weather station to monitor environmental conditions for future astronauts and test swatches of spacesuit material to see how they withstand the Martian environment. Perseverance was built and is operated by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, managed by Caltech as part of the agency's broader Mars exploration program under the Science Mission Directorate.